Hey guys, it's David Franco from GearPop.com. Lately, I've been in a ranting mood, if you haven't noticed. I just finally want to get some things off my chest. Number one, I talked about whether creating content on YouTube is a real job, which I thought was very successful. Of course, I had to block about 10 people, but that's just what I do. I have a zero tolerance policy for idiocy. That's just how it is. Number two, I finally made a video about the iWatch and my thoughts. Of course, I had a lot of people backlash me out with that and with these very rude comments like, Really guys, over a freaking watch? And number three, today's video kind of goes into those previous two videos as well as life in general, and that is overuse of the words fag, faggot, and, well, gay. Now for this title, I'm obviously just gonna put uh, gay and fag or whatever. I don't wanna put faggot, I don't wanna be too offensive, but do know that um, I will use explicit language, I guess you could say, in this video, so be warned. All right, so this has been going on for years. This is nothing new. I'm not looking to change the world by any means, but I am looking to at least educate one person with this video, and if I do, then I consider it a success. What I am talking about is the overuse of words like gay and fag in everyday conversation, when, first of all, they don't even feel necessary. This especially applies online. I mean, if you look at any YouTube video of any popular content creator, such as I Justine or Chris Perillo or anybody like that, I can guarantee you, at least somewhere in those comments, somebody said, you're gay, you're a fag. This video is gay, you faggot. Really? Seriously, what are you trying to accomplish? I mean, number one, you sound like an idiot. Number two, it doesn't make sense because I'm pretty sure the content creator you're talking to is not gay. And number three, even if they were gay, why does it matter to you? All right, so moving beyond that, I do want to focus on the horrible language I come across in video games just about every night. I mean, if you play a game like Battlefield 3, you can bet your ass you will hear people saying, you die, you faggot. Play a game like Halo 4. Oh, this map is so gay. And especially in Black Ops 2, it's very bad in Black Ops 2. There's a lot of idiots out there. You're a faggot. Just capture the gay flag, you faggot. Really? Is that flag really a homosexual? Because... I didn't see that flag going down on that other flag. Do you see what I'm saying here? It doesn't make sense. Joking aside though, guys, this is definitely something we need to address. I mean, we need to figure out why people are saying this. I have a couple theories. Number one is I don't think people realize what they're saying and the kind of impact it has on others. I mean, think about what you're saying when you say, die, you fag, or you're so gay, why don't you just go kill yourself? I cannot even fathom the thought of saying that to somebody. Not even one of my friends. I mean, I would never, ever even joke to one of my friends calling them gay or you're a fag or kill yourself. Yes, I'm saying kill yourself because unfortunately that's usually involved in the same conversation. Why? It's beyond me. But then there's theory too, and that's, well, people just don't give a shit. I mean, people really just don't care. People who use those kinds of words to offend others, they just don't care. They do not deserve respect from anyone in this world. And honestly, this is a bit traumatic, but it's the truth. I hate sharing this planet with people like that. I hate it. I hate knowing that people out there are living everyday lives and they're, they're overall happy, yet their idea of happiness is offending others by using those explicit words. Okay, so yes, I'm not gay, so these words obviously don't offend me, personally, but it does offend me to the point where I hate knowing people out there even act like that to begin with. I mean, you have no idea half of the conversations I hear in Black Ops 2. I mean, just last night, these two guys started fighting each other on the same freaking team. I even tried to fix it. I was like, guys, we're on the same team. Calm down. But they obviously wouldn't listen. They just kept going at it, throwing racial slurs, you know, throwing the N-word, calling him a fag. And it's like, really? Really? Step away from the controller, gain some respect, and do something with your life. It just drives me crazy how disrespectful so many people out there can be. And it really drives me crazy how people use the word gay so loosely. Oh, that is so gay. This map is so gay. Oh, this food is so gay. I mean, when did the word gay ever replace the word stupid? I mean, guys, it doesn't make sense. Think about it. If you're calling an object gay, I highly doubt that object has homosexual intentions, right? I feel like this video is falling off track, but I just wanted to voice my opinion. I realize I cannot change the world. I never will in terms of stuff like this. There will always be idiots out there uh, using explicit words in the wrong manner and just overall, well, being stupid. 
I realize this sort of thing is gonna keep happening, but I at least wanna see it cut down a little bit, especially on websites like YouTube. And unfortunately, it's mostly from kids who don't know what they're saying. I mean, if you ever come across the hater, they're usually 13 or 14 years old. And yes, guys, I realize not all kids are like that. I'm not saying uh, that all kids are just bad, but you do have to understand a large majority of kids who use words like gay and fag, they don't really understand what they're saying, at least in my opinion. And then perhaps one day they'll mature and fully realize all the mistakes they've been making all these years. And hopefully they can use that as a life example to better improve themselves over time. Also guys, real quick, I do have one mini topic to talk about relating to the whole calling people gay and fag topic. And that is, I always get people asking, why do I block people on YouTube so easily? Well, why not? I mean, honestly guys, I have a zero tolerance policy for idiots out there. Just yesterday, I blocked maybe five or six people for calling me a fag or gay for not wanting an iWatch over electronic device. So yes, if I do get people calling me gay or this video gay, or they call me a fag or faggot, they're instantly blocked. It's really simple as that. The point is, I really just don't want people like that watching my videos and commenting. Yes, I realize they can obviously still watch, but at least they don't have the power to comment. And if they do make a new account and they try to offend me again, I block them. It's my videos, my rules, that's the way I look at it. I think I'm a little more strict than other YouTubers. I mean, I'm not out there to get big numbers. I'm just out there to get a good viewership of people that actually care about me as a person and they're not looking to offend me just because they don't know me behind the camera. Anyway guys, let me know what your thoughts below. Was I too strict regarding it or are you glad I finally expressed my opinions regarding this whole ordeal? I mean, I think it's very important to look into um, and to better yourselves by not using words like that. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Let's see if we can get this video to at least 500 likes again. I appreciate your support and I'll see you in my next video.